Uh, this is call review 2010, and I'm going to be doing my second call review. The first one was on the Call United channel. Um, my review. Yeah, that's my that's my computer. So let me just adjust it. I'm going to be reviewing TCW Preparation for Glory. Sorry, that's my finger. TCW Preparation for Glory. First match. I'm gonna do this off five stars since everybody hated the fact that I did ten stars. Um, the first match was JP Diamond Raphael versus Mike Legend and Ken Diamond and the European the Europeans, which were the tag team titles of the TLC match. I was a little boring at first. Uh, I was a little slow. Then it, the only time it actually got good was when Mike Legend beat the hell out of everybody. That was just the only good part. Um, I didn't really like it. Didn't really get me get me an excited mood. Not like the other matches did, which I'll talk about pretty soon. Um, I give this match a three and a half. I give this match three and a half. Three and a half out of five. Um, it was alright. And next, um, TCW Elevation Championship, Van Diego versus Ben Doyle. This had to be, out of, out of the other matches, one of the best. Didn't get the five stars that it needed, but it was, it was awesome. Doyle hit some, Doyle got turned and got hit in the crotch about three times at Van Diego. That was funny. In the end, Van Diego hit the, um, crap, I forgot what that move was called. But he hit, like, three of them, and he just beat them after hitting, like, three of them. And that's the end. Um, yeah, and I give this match a four, and one fourth out of five. Next match, which should have been the main event, besides the preparation for glory match. The NWA and TCW unification match between American Eagle and Combo. I spelled American Eagle's name wrong on this. Crap. Um, I'll fix it later. Um, yeah, this match was just off the wall, brutal. Both men got busted open. American Eagle tossed, um, went for, went for a jump, this was that'd be a highlight of the match, jumped off the turnbuckle and tried to hit Combo who was on the announce table, Combo rolled off and American Eagle landed on it and went right through it, and then, then Eagle hit the, um, I think Combo, I don't know which one did, the, the other announce table was broken too by American Eagle, I think, and in the end Combo hit the guillotine leg drop, I think, and got the win, and now we have an undisputed champion. Give this match a four and three-fourths out of five. Close. Close. Ugh. There was one part that was disappointing. I just don't remember it. Alright, next. Travis Blade versus Devin Kuru. Extreme match. No holds barred. This was just insane. This whole match was a bloodbath. Fire. Tables were set on fire. Single, um, not single pork games. Two by fours were set on fire. Kuru got burned, uh, got his, got the hell burned out of his arms and his back. Travis Blade burned his beard. He went right through the table. He got tossed into the generator, and I'm surprised the power didn't go out. <laughs> and it was just destructive. And Travis Blade hit three pedigrees in a row to get the win. Five out of five. One of the best matches. Next, but it's nothing compared to the preparation for glory match. The match starts off with on the started off with Raphael and Aaron Bain. Started slow. UV came out. Didn't really do much. Then Marcus Corvan came out and he dominated the entire match. Tossing UV out. Then he tossed out Raphael. Then he tossed out Giovanni who just climbed into the ring. Then he tossed out Aaron Bain. Then Yayabusa, the Japanese guy, came out. He got tossed out. It got a little slow and. And Van Diego and Kevin Hall and Bruce and JP Diamond and Razor and Ken Diamond came out. Um, Corvon was eliminated by Bruce. 
and it was just destructive. Well, I didn't see coming was Kevin Hall and Brian Brutal getting eliminated so early. Kevin Hall got tossed out by Sandman, and Brian Brutal got into a double elimination with Neo, him and by Sandman and Van Diego. And then Cannibal kind of kind of di went destructive as well, eliminating sacrif eliminating first he eliminated Sandman. He tossed up Sacrifice, Van Diego, and Roddy Piper at the same time. And then he got, surprisingly got eliminated by TVD, who should have won that match. He, he was doing good. Bobby Shamor was the, was the most depressing one out of all. He came in, 21 seconds later, he goes out. <sighs> Disappointing. Massacre came out, and I thought he was going to win. Swear to God, I thought he was going to win. Then... It was down to him and Naven Wolf. They were the final two. Naven Wolf hits, hits the Wolf Cutter. Sean, Masker Sean gets tossed out. Naven Wolf wins. Uh, I don't like Naven Wolf. I, I he he's awful. He he's just he sucks. He hasn't even been fighting. He's only been like last time he fought, he got tossed out in a, in a battle royal. Yes, and I give that match uh, five. Um, Six out of five. Why six out of five? Because it was just awesome. I like people getting hurt. Yes, I got problems. Anyway, that's my review overall. This match, um, the mat, the um, overall the CPV gets a four and three fourths, four and three fourths out of five. Pretty good. This is my second call review, and I'm going to be signing out.